Hello and welcome to a new player review. So it's Friday, uh, it was time for the uh, icon moments to be dropped. I was hoping for some more in terms of uh, objectives or maybe SPCs, but nothing has dropped, only uh, prime icon moments and packs. Uh, we had the upgrade in the storyline Politano, which requires more grind for two more rating. I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, anyways, and we had uh, the upgrades in the player uh, league SPCs, starting with uh, the Italian league, uh, Serie A. Uh, and the first player to be added was a personal favorite of mine. Uh, one of the first videos I did this year, uh, I said that this was the player that I was going to add in my starter team. And I really liked him last year. Uh, so it's going to be Simone Verdi. Uh, last year, he was from Napoli. Uh, this year, He's in um, Torino. Uh, also, he has a switch on his position where he was a right mid last year. This year, he's a left mid. Um, it looks like a very nice card, although uh, an expensive one to complete the uh, league SBC at the moment. It's somewhere around 250k. Uh, so, it is an expensive player. There are a few options in the Italian league on the left side. If you take out that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously, that dominates it. We have that flashback, uh, Alexis Sanchez. We have uh, an inform Insigne. Uh, we have Laxlat, Scream. And, and we have Douglas Costa as well. The fitness version, I believe, is the best one. Uh, so I don't know how this one ranks. We'll see uh, in a bit. So we'll go ahead and pick up this uh, Simone Verdi. We get no walkout. We'll add him into the team. And we'll see how this guy, uh, this guy's card is. All right, so here we go. Uh, we added him to the team um, as a left mid. So, uh, Simone Verdi uh, is an upgrade uh, from his 80 base gold card. He didn't get, he hasn't have any special cards this year. Uh, like I said last year, he had a once to watch, uh, which had an inform to 84. Was was a great card. I really really liked it. Uh, I played him many games. Uh, so, uh, like I said, 171. So he's like 57 high medium work rates, which are uh, great. Uh, left footed on the left side, um, but with four star skills and a five star weak foot, uh, it's something that uh, has this card standing out. So it looks fantastic on the face uh, stats. Uh, I'll see the details. He's paced over 91, acceleration 92 with sprint speed 89, a very good differential, three points, higher acceleration to sprint speed. Uh, it's high enough where you don't even need to add any uh, speed to it. Uh, we will see how this card plays out though. Uh, shooting overall 86, this is where he needs some help. I already applied a dead eye to it to get the maximum in finishing. So we get attack positioning 89 to 99, finishing 78 to 93, shot power 95 to 99, long shots 90 to 95, volleys 87. Uh, passing overall 85 with vision 85 to 95, crossing 87 to 92, free kicks 89 to 94, short pass 83 to 93, long pass 80, and curve 89 to 94. So his passing uh, looks exceptional now. Uh, his vision is very good, his short pass is fantastic, his curve is very good, everything above the 90s. His dribbling is very high, uh, overall 88, with agility 97 and balance 95, so he's going to feel fantastic on the ball. His reactions are good at 82 and ball control 88, dribbling 85 and composure 82, so everything else is there in mid 80s, but it looks really good. Uh, no defending, physical is very low, with jumping 58, uh, stamina is 80, strength 52 and aggression 55. So this is a common occurrence with wingers that are uh, small in stature, small built, with, with high agility, uh, which don't have uh, a lot of strength or aggression. Um, so we'll see how that uh, plays in, uh, in the game. Um, obviously with his balance and composure, uh, you might not need that much strength to keep the ball. His stamina is 80. Uh, I think it's going to be enough to be played as a winger or a wide cap. Uh, for any other position, we have to see how he plays in game. So I'm really, really excited to play this card. So we'll go into a couple of foot champions games. Uh, play this guy in the first game as a winger, as a wide cam, as in his natural position. And if we're satisfied um, how he plays in that game, then we'll go into the second game and switch his position to something else. All right, so here we go with the first game. Uh, nice hybrid of a lot of players in there. Um, good defense, good attack. We'll see how we do. So we'll go into this game in the 4-2-3-1 formation. And uh, we're going to pl uh, play uh, uh, league uh, Serie A player uh, Simone Verdi and the uh, left cam uh, left wing position. All right, here we go. First touch. 
it's really small. That's a foul. There he is on the wing. We're in control there, but it's going to be okay. Good turn, high agility, nice. Turn again, no, almost got it there. Oh my god. There we go, shoot. And score 1-1 one, one with Bulaya. There he is. Turn, shoot. No, he blocks it. What the hell are you doing there? Oh, there he is. Good control there. Nice dribble. Yes, he is very fast though. Turn back. Penalty. Yes, very. We won the penalty. Give it to Lava. We score to make it 2 1. There he is. Shoot. Ah, good shot there. Hard turn, but a good shot by Verdi. There he is. Shoot. No, we blocked it. What a dribble, what a pass. Take it now. Yes, there we go. Shoot. Oh, come on. Shoot. And we score again. 3 1. Go. There he is again. Dribble. What a goal. Excellent goal by Verdi. Get his first goal in. Good dribble there on his left foot. Yes. There you go. Oh, nice pass. Come on. Another one. Shoot. Oh my god, what is he saving? There we go with the netter and no. What was that? Caught it out of the area. What happened? He did. All right. So you had a free kick with Simone Verdi here. And he scores. What a goal. So that was it. 5 2. Uh, very, very nice game by Simone Verdi. Uh, he scored two goals. I don't think he had any assists. We'll have a look right now. Uh, 9.2 match rating. Uh, two goals, no assists, six on eight shots on target, uh, 18 on 14 passes, 14 on 23 dribbles, uh, one on three tackles, uh, minus seven fitness the most, which is you know understandable since I, I ran him the most. Uh, I really, really liked him. Um, I think he's excellent in that position. Uh, now for the second game, I probably want to go and change him and play him into another position. All right, so here we go with our second game. Um, nice Trem Bundesliga hybrid. Nice players there. So um, I was kind of debating on what position we should go into this game. Uh, eventually, I, th I thought we should go into the 4-4-2 flat and try him in his natural position as a left uh, midfielder uh, and see how he plays uh, in that role as well. Go, turn and shoot. Yes, there we go, 1-0. Pass. Right there. That was a good pass. Oh, Verdi. Yes. There he goes. Turn. Yes, shoot. Oh. Nice. Go, Verdi. Give me a good pass. Nice. Yes. There it is. Oh, what a goal, <laughs> what a goal. There he is. Great. Agility. Nice dribbling. Very nice on the ball. So lucky. And that's game. Uh, all right, for a left mid as well. Uh, I preferred him better I think as a winger as a wide cam still 7.1 um, no goals no assists uh, one on one shots on target eight on 10 passes eight on 12 dribbles uh, Mafield cross 
uh, one successful tackle out of none uh, <laughs> and better fitness this time so yeah another a good position for him so let's go back and have a look at this card so uh, league SBC Simone Verdi uh, two games two goals uh, both goals in the first game as a winger a second game we played him as a left mid um, I really liked him as a left winger uh, where he plays uh, more wide and uh, more up front uh, where he has a lot more space uh, to run there. Um, he played really well in the first game. I really enjoyed him. He scored two goals. He was excellent. He feels fantastic on the ball. He's really small in frame, as you saw, sort of like a Messi. Uh, so his high agility, his balance um, makes him turn really well. Uh, he turns and stops uh, really well. His control on the ball is fantastic. His pace is there. I really like his pace. Uh, he feels really rapid, especially with that high agility. Um, although his acceleration sprint speed is not you know top top speed but he still feels very nice uh, his stamina was not a problem uh, as a wide cam uh, winger or as a left mid uh, didn't have any problem with the stamina uh, his passing uh, was um, okay um, it could do a bit better his finishing was there although we took many shots most of them in the first one were kind of some uh, like Tristegan I think it was was doing some absolutely mad saves there. I don't know. I think his his finishing was there. I remember last year uh, I was uh, banging in some great goals outside the area. Um, I don't know if I had that many attempts with him on these games, um, but that's not the matter anyways. Uh, it's really hard to score uh, outside the area, uh, but it's something that I really enjoyed last year. So I probably will uh, try him in a few more games and attempt new few more shots. So. Um, is this card worth it? Well, uh, so the SPC is coming in, a, like we said, about 250 uh, right now, but maybe that will um, get lowered in price because maybe new cards that have been added into uh, FIFA today with the winter upgrades uh, might get added to teams that were lacking a lot of cards and were expensive. Like, uh, I think, um, which one is it? I think Brescia is uh, a very expensive one, like a 50k. So maybe if you know, uh, they get uh, one or two players in, gold players that are uh, common and uh, it replaces a silver position that's 9, 10k, then, you know, that makes it very uh, cheap right away for that team from 50k, might bring it down to 30k. So I don't know what the final price will be with these new players added in, uh, but at two, let's say 250, 240, uh, obviously it's a very expensive card. Uh, like I said, you have Ronaldo there uh, from Serie A. Uh, then as a left uh, mid and Italian, you have Insigne. I think there's an inform there, 88 probably. Uh, sort of the similar uh, in height. I think both, uh, he has four star, four star. This guy has four star, five star. Don't remember his work rates. Uh, I believe this guy might have a bit better stats, except dribbling. Maybe Insigne has better dribbling on that card. Uh, so I would say that this card is better because of the five star weak foot and because of the other stats. Other than that, I believe he's going to be better than the other, the rest of the cars, like that Scream Laxlad, which is not good, and uh, uh, Douglas Costa, that foot mess with that weak foot, I don't think it's any good. So I, I think this card is top two, top three as a left wing in the Serie A. So uh, I don't think he's worth completing the SPC just to get him, because a 250 is expensive, unless you're looking for a Serie A left wing. Um, because if you factor in that you're going to get a 20 packs back, uh, so that price is going to come considerably down. I would suspect that you're going to get anywhere from at least like 60, 70 to 100K without getting anything in the packs. You probably will get at least 60, 70K uh, with all those packs if you're really thorough and sell, you know, the players and consumables uh, anywhere from 70 to 100K. So that will bring this price down to maybe 150K. So at 150k, I think it's worth it if you compare it to Insignia. I think that Insignia left wing, might his price might be somewhere close to that. Um, obviously, compared to Sanchez, I think his footsie's flashback card was about 150k. Uh, I think Sanchez might be a bit better. So if you did Sanchez, I don't think you need to do this card. Uh, on the other hand, I just did him uh, because I did I I do want to have this Verde because uh, you know I really enjoyed him last year, so I really wanted. But also because 
uh, I wanted to get the packs to open them now and the new Pro Bowl, maybe we might get lucky and pull something fantastic. Um, so even if I don't, I think it will cost me, I already had five or six teams completed. So it cost me something under 200K to complete them and I'll probably get, I wanna say half of that back in packs. So it didn't cost me really that much. So for that price, I think it's worth it anywhere. If you can make it anywhere around 150K, uh, which is gonna be the same price as Sanchez. I believe this card is worth it. Uh, it's a good card to have, especially if you're running a Serie A team. This is a good left wing uh, to get for your team. So this is gonna be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.